But first, our top story this half hour, the need for speed in Texas. Soon one road will have the highest legal speed limit in the nation, 85 miles per hour. It's the state's first public-private toll road, and the contract between the toll road operator and the state pays Texas $100 million for raising the speed limit. And as Anna Werner reports, the nude speed limit has some road safety groups very concerned. Texas transportation officials insist the new 41-mile stretch of highway from Austin south to the city of Seguin, east of San Antonio, can handle higher speeds. Some local drivers aren't so sure. 85 miles an hour on a toll road? I don't know whether I'd do that or not. <laughs> Is that too much? Yeah, it sounds like too much to me. States have license to set their own speed limits. Last year, Texas lawmakers approved 85 mile per hour limits for some new stretches of road, including this one. In the 1970s, 55 was set as the maximum speed limit. Now, 35 states have speed limits over 70 miles per hour, but only Utah and Texas permit 80 on some roads. As you increase travel speeds of vehicles, you increase the energy involved in crashes, which means you have more injuries and more deaths when crashes happen. AAA's Justin McNall says 85 will test even experienced drivers, and enforcement will be key. We want to make sure that they're going to keep a really close eye on it, that we're not seeing crashes that we think are speed related, that we're not seeing cars traveling with a great variation in speed, and that we're not seeing cars traveling at truly excessive rates of speed. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety says the trade-off for higher speed limits is more crashes and more highway deaths. The new toll road opens in November. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Anna Werner, Houston. And joining us now from our Washington Bureau is Russ Rader. He is the spokesman for the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Great to have you with us, Russ. Good morning. Good morning. So you think 85 miles per hour is too fast here, but I'm wondering what would be a speed limit that you think would be safe? Well, policymakers set speed limits for all sorts of reasons, not just safety. Uh, but the research shows that there is always a trade-off. When speed limits go up, deaths on those roads go up. When speed limits go down, deaths on those roads go down. So from a safety perspective, uh, there is a downside. We heard the argument being made uh, in the story that $100 million is going to be raised from this. We also have a statement from the Department of Transportation which says we must continue to look for innovative ways to generate revenue and be good stewards of taxpayer dollars. Safety is our top priority and tests have shown that the designated speed is a safe one. So Russ, my question to you is what do you think of that statement? Well, if safety were a priority, uh, states would be enforcing the speed limits they have, not raising speed limits. And the fact is that 35 states uh, since the mid-1990s have raised speed limits on some portions of their roadways to more than 70 miles per hour. And it's not a trivial problem. More than 10,000 people die in speed-related crashes uh, each year. So if we were to get a handle on speeding, we could have a significant um, uh, effect on uh, our highway safety problem in the United States. We're Why do you think it is that in the United States the death rate is 27 percent higher than in Europe where you have a number of highways that have no speed limits and in many cases speed limits much higher than 85 miles per hour? Well, it's a difficult comparison to make because uh, Europe is a much more urbanized um, uh, society. In the 1980s, the uh, death rate on U.S. Uh, interstates was lower than it was, for example, on the Autobahns in, in Germany. Uh, but that changed when states began to raise speed limits. All right, Russ Rader, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks very much for having me.